Hey AKers, Just Jewel the Land Knife, and here I'm reviewing the Buck Highline. So another 2020 design from them. Uh, have to say, I'm not disappointed. So overall, it is 7.5 inches, maybe just a little more. It's got a 3.25 inch D2 tool steel blade, stone wash, finish, jimping, and if you couldn't tell already, it's a cleaver design. So they've done a cleaver knife before. I think they did it in like the trunk knife, which was pretty good. I like this one better. Does have a gray anodized aluminum handle with a black G10 onlay. And I think this is probably one of my favorite parts. It has antique bronze finish hardware and fasteners. So if you look, it's got a <clears throat> antique bronze titanium coated backspacer along with the pivot cap accent which has Buck's logo. I'm not sure if you can tell but it's there. And then the screws I think I really 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 like that aspect. It just makes the whole knife stand out. Adds a little extra oomph. This one's also got a lanyard hole so if you want to carry on a lanyard you can. There's also a stonewash stainless steel tip up right carry pocket clip which I have to say is an interesting pocket clip I'm not sure if you can tell but it's kind of not in the middle of the handle it's kind of on the edge and it's rounded in such a way that it's really gonna sit right in your pocket it's a very interesting hand, uh, pocket clip from them so blade is deployed with the flipper stud no jumping but it opens just as well. I mean, your finger might slip off, but it's gonna be a huge deal. Gauges every time is a very nice frame lock, I have to say. Kind of like a, a bulky kind of EDC, but it's definitely gonna get the job done. It cuts well. And then the cleaver style is gonna let you not only uh, cut, but you can probably chop with it as well, slice. It's gonna work. Operates on ball bearings, so you got a smooth. Oh, see, I told you. I said you might slip, but this one does still have some uh, grease on it, to keep it oiled. So that could be the reason for the slip. I didn't clean it very well. I was like, you know what? Let's just show them. Not worry about cleaning it. So it's fresh out of the box, guys. Oh, here's the box. <laughs> I'd really probably take this one everywhere I went. It's very good on the go. I mean, Highline is kind of an interesting name, but you know, Buck's an interesting company. I think they're really trying to branch out with materials and they're trying to class up the knives by doing this whole layering of like the anodized aluminum with, they did a, a one with carbon fiber instead of G10, the Cavalier. So I got a review of that one too. So put a link to it in the description and in the corner if you really want to see it much more slimmer than this one. This one's kind of a bulky, hefty one. I think it weighs 3.9 ounces, so I think that one was like 2.3 or something like that, so it's a little heavier. Very easy opening. Blade secures well with the frame lock. It's got jimping, so you can, you know, get some precision cutting if you really wanted to with the point on this. I do like the little detailing that they put on the cleaver here. It's very different from the other ones. I feel like you could probably use it to open it like that if you didn't care for the back flipper. Because I know some people like nail nicks. So you could do it like that if you really wanted to. Just open it like that. Manual type of opening. So that was the Buck Highline. Please make sure to follow Atlanta Knife on all our social media sites, not just on YouTube. We got Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, IGTV, Instagram. We're also on Rumble. So we do five minute reviews like this one. Uh, Crispy does 30 second things where he just shows you the knife, flips it open. We also have AK Blade Show we do every Friday where we go over the newest knives and multi tools and gear. So. That's kind of a hodgepodge of everything new you can get from tons of different brands. We do new brands, old brands, everything. So, 
as always, I am Just Jewel with a Lant Knife. This was the Buck High Line, and I am signing off.